Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but uh, recently over on AOK Zoe's Twitter page and YouTube, they've been showing off the new AOK Zoe A1 Pro. Now it definitely looks the same as the original A1, and I actually really do like the design they've come up with here. We've got an 8 inch IPS display, a little bit of RGB. You could get it in a white color or this blue with the uh, yellow accents. And just looking at it, it's not too exciting, but what makes the Pro so special is the APU they're going to be using. This is based on Zen 4 with RDNA 3 graphics. It's a Ryzen 7000 series chip. And in fact, we know which APU they're going to be using because uh, there have been some leaked Geekbench benchmarks with that AOK Zoe A1 Pro so far. And from what we're seeing, this is definitely looking like a powerful mobile chip. But aside from the A1 Pro, they've also posted a few images of the upcoming A2. Now we've got two different color schemes here, Evergreen and Skywing. And if you remember back to 2022 and One X Player, they announced a handheld called the One X Fly, and this definitely resembles it, but you got to keep in mind that One X and AOK Zoe kind of go hand in hand. Either way, it looks like with the A2, we're also going to get a flagship 7000 series chip. This isn't going to be a Mendocino chip here, and I'm not sure if they're going to go with the lower end version, but uh, we kind of suspect this is going to have that same 7840U that we're going to see in the A1 Pro. ADM is expected to have 12 CUs with that clock up to 2700 MHz, but what can really make a difference with these integrated graphics is that RAM speed. If you take a look here, these new 7000 series chips will support up to LP DDR5X at 7500 MHz. And if they're able to use that, we're going to see a significant jump in iGPU performance. And over on the official AOK Zoe YouTube channel, they've posted a few videos with this chip here running a couple different games. We can check out the performance so far. Again, still an engineering sample, really early for this chip, and drivers will improve. But I'm really excited about these handhelds, and I can't wait to see what Zen 4 paired up with RDNA 3 can do in these things. And we're definitely going to see more come to the market in 2023, so keep an eye out, because a lot of manufacturers will be swapping over to RDNA 3. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Figured I'd go ahead and make it quick. Uh, as soon as we have more information, or if I can get my hands on one for testing, I'll be making some videos. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel. It'd be really cool if you could hit that subscribe button and think about turning notifications on because I've got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.